Well, you too, D. Baudry here. So you are looking into the hallway to my walk-in closet, and that's my hamper down at the other end. That's so that uh, my M103 doesn't bash into the sheetrock, which uh, I'd rather not have happen. However, I did lose control uh, a little while ago and put one of the pedals <laughs> into the sheetrock. So this is a divot. Anyway. Um, the wheel was laying over, so right now the wheel just spins freely. But as soon as I stand it up, yeah, it does that single beep, and now it's now it's locked in or active. Anyway, uh, I don't know how it's going to show up on the camera, but I'm I'm right foot uh, right sided, so that's my dominant side. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm putting my right foot on it setting it down the carpet and then I keep my foot neutral uh, not pushing backwards, not pushing forward on the pedal so that the motor doesn't run and I have to use the wall right now to, so that I can uh, stand on the thing and then I can get my other foot on it and now I'm totally vertical and I've uh, been riding this thing for two hours I guess yeah call, call this my uh, my Christmas present right so, while I've had it for a couple of weeks now, I haven't ridden it yet until just tonight. So, anyway, yeah, just getting standing on the thing, well, that took me probably 30 minutes. <laughs> because I didn't understand, you know, the neutral position of my feet. Because, like, right now I'm standing, you know, a little bit backwards and just kind of rocking a little bit. But, you know, just being able to stand vertically on the thing was... Um, and not move. <laughs> it was, uh, you know, one of those things you have to learn because it's it's not something that your feet or your body and your reactions and so on naturally do. You know, when, when you start going backwards, you want to like lean, right? And so the the wheel is uh, responding to you leaning. And uh, you, yeah, you're having to fight your natural reactions to be sure. But anyway, yeah, that's totally hands free right there. Of course, obviously I'm. Um, you know, going slowly. Oh, there you go. That's why the uh, laundry basket's back there. So I can crash into it. But yeah, that was totally hands-free. That's hands-free. Whoops. Didn't lean forward. Yeah, it's a little bit faster. There we go. There's backwards. And that time I stopped. Stop. So one of the things that I did that helped me out a lot, um, because this is a smaller wheel, and so it doesn't sit on the inside of your calves so much. Uh, and also the, the pads, even though I've got my feet tied up against the wheel, the uh, pads down here, uh, there's a gap of about an inch and a half on either side. So there's a lot of movement side to side here. So the first thing I did was once I figured out how to like make it not roll, you know, by standing basically neutral on it, was just do this. So I could get used to the, the fact that there was all this play side to side. And then once I got that, then standing like this became a lot more intuitive. And then once I had that down, um, so like right now I've got my arms just gently rested against the walls. Then I started doing this. You know, so that's, uh, that's that forward and backwards rocking motion basically. And it, you know, gave me a, a, a sense of how the wheel responds to the pressure of my heels and toes on the pedals. Um, <clears throat> one of the things that I uh, figured out on this thing, you know, because I'm a big guy, uh, I had the thing originally on low power. I figured, you know, that was safer <laughs> so that I didn't wreck. Uh, but on low power, it didn't have motor torque enough to arrest my movement very well. So it was... So that's totally hands-free. So it was you know, not arresting my movement. So anyway, yeah, I've, I've got one of the apps for it on the Android Play Store. And then set the thing to sport or high, like it is now. And, oh wow, that made a huge difference. It made it, uh, it made it much more suited for, I guess, probably my mass. It's the best way of saying it. But yeah, leisure or low was just simply not powerful enough. Uh, and so this is this is definitely way more manageable for me. You can probably hear the fan running. Um, 
even though I'm not moving very fast, all this stopping and starting stuff is putting tons of phase amps into the motor and that's heating up the MOSFETs a lot. So yeah, the fan inside, which has absolutely no ventilation, is virtually pointless, is running continuously at high speed. But yeah, definitely getting better at this thing. I'm certainly not free of the walls yet. You know, I, I, uh, I can't ride more than a, like three or four feet without having to touch off. <laughs> Otherwise I fall over. But yeah, this is a huge improvement in just a couple hours of time of fiddling around in this little short hallway into my closet. Yeah, that's totally hands-free. Okay, not quite. I touched the wall. <laughs> but still. Yeah, the motor is is uh, predictable or more predictable to me now. <clears throat> I guess the last thing I want to do is dismount. So what I'm doing right now is I just tilt it over like that, still keep my foot neutral, and you can see it rolled forward a little bit, but not much. Did have a little foo bar. So got a nice little divot in the wall from where I had an accident. Oh well. Anyway, having fun.